This video will address the first step in protein synthesis, which again is called transcription. It's important to understand that the function of transcription is to build a messenger molecule to carry the instructions for protein synthesis from DNA, which is confined to the nucleus, to the cytoprotein synthesis, which occurs in the cytoplasm. There are three stages involved in the process of transcription, initiation, elongation, and termination. Initiation begins when transcription factors such as helicase bind to the promoter region of the gene of interest on the DNA strand. The gene of interest is the genetic code on the DNA strand that codes for the particular protein the body is trying to produce. Once helicase binds to the promoter region or starting point of the gene, the enzyme unwinds the DNA double helix exposing the base pairs to provide a DNA template for transcription to begin. Elongation is the second step in transcription. In this second step, RNA polymerase adds ribonucleotides to the DNA template. Each ribonucleotide is added to the growing mRNA strand using the base pairing rules. Remember though that mRNA does not contain thymine. So whenever an adenine is encountered on the DNA template, uracil is inserted into the growing mRNA strand. Other than this exception, the base pairing rules that apply to DNA are the same in RNA. Termination occurs when the RNA polymerase reaches the terminator region or the end of the gene. The mRNA transcript is released and the polymerase detaches from the DNA template. The genetic code on the DNA strand has now been transcribed into a messenger molecule called mRNA, which is now ready to leave the nucleus and carry the coded message to the site of protein synthesis in the cytoplasm. The next video will discuss the second step in protein synthesis, which is called translation.